Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dr. Juan Ramon Aviles Morales from Taino DNA and Genealogy. Today we will be discussing uh, on GEDmatch the ancestor projects that we are dealing with, in particular Taino DNA and Genealogy, and also the Council of Native Caribbean Heritage, or CONCH. Okay, we're going to log in and I'm going to show you how to find our project. Okay, this is the home screen uh, when you log in to GEDmatch. I want you to scroll down and where you see the heading where it says DNA applications, you're going to see this uh, link. It says Ancestor Projects. I want you to click on that. When you click on it, uh, let's ignore this for a moment. You're going to see, if you're not part of a project, you're going to see this page. There are multiple projects for you to look at. Uh, I want you to scroll down all the way. It's alphabetical. Uh, scroll down to what well, we're going to see. The first one is going to be the Caribbean or um, the conch, rather. Let's go see if we can find it. Council, here we are. So this is the Council of Native Caribbean Heritage. This is one that is affiliated with Taino DNA and genealogy. Um, you can find us there. You just click. Since I haven't joined this with Fatun Wainaro, I'm going to join it. So I click join. And basically, you answer our questions and you select which kit you want to include. I'm not going to submit this because uh, I think I already submitted it. So go back and then you'll see also the Taino DNA and genealogy under T. Oops, I keep passing it the fly by. And here it is. Uh, there it is. Taino DNA and genealogy and you can go ahead and click on join and later on I will go ahead and approve your application and you'll be able to do certain things on it. Okay. Since I am part of the Taino and DNA genealogy project here, basically what you do is you, if you're on multiple groups, which like I am, you find the group you want to work with and you can put gen match kit number in there and you can compare um, to those group now any information you obtain from the ancestor projects i want to warn you uh, gen match is very serious let me see if i could look at it i don't see it there so uh gen match has a rule that any information from the ancestor projects is not to be posted on a public forum. Uh, if you obtain information from the Dino DNA and genealogy uh, ancestor project, it is okay to post it on our Facebook group page since it is a private page. You have to have access to it. Uh, and generally, um, some guidelines I suggest that if you're gonna post results with someone that's related to you I would get permission from them first it's just common etiquette I would avoid post posting um, information from people you do not know or have permission have not obtained permission to do so so people might not want their email address they might not want to know or have their names put on a, a, a group page so just be aware of this because that could be a potential issue. Um, so this is our group project. I showed you how to join. Uh, and there are other aspects. Once you join, you're able to compare uh, the DNA kit that you have to the amount of members are on there. I am not going to enter the Ancestor project as this would be a violation of the terms of uh, service um, where information from that group cannot be posted on a public forum and therefore since I am using this to make a tutorial uh, which we will be posting on our Facebook uh, excuse me YouTube page 
uh, I am not at liberty to share that information. But I hope this um, helps you. Um, this can be very useful as you can compare yourself to other descendants of a particular tree or, or a project, if you will. And I hope this can help you in your search for finding uh, ancestors. Thank you.